So the out of course settings that you'll find in the Octane Render tab of the Render Settings window uh, allow you to use some of your uh, host machine's RAM to store textures that are in your Octane scene. So this frees up memory on your GPU for rendering uh, the other elements of the scene, such as geometry and lighting materials, etc. Uh, so you should only use this setting if you're running out of memory, if you're running out of VRAM, uh, because you have a lot of textures. Uh, because if you enable the setting, it will slow down the render. It'll remove or reduce the frequency of uh, out of memory errors, but it will slow down the render. So use this with caution. You have a setting here that allows you to raise the limit so you can keep it at the default setting of 4096, but if you really have a lot of large textures, then you can increase this. Generally, the GPU headroom is probably best left at the default setting. So you wanna be as efficient as possible with the textures that you create for your Octane render scenes. Uh, if you enable out of core uh, memory, then the textures must be stored on non-swappable memory, which is limited. So you're using up the RAM on your machine uh, that could be available for other processes. So use out of core with caution. It's best idea to um, be as efficient as possible with your textures, reuse textures when possible. Uh, also, you can always blend in Octane procedural textures, which uh, render fairly quickly and use less memory. Uh, so again, it's uh, the, the smarter that you work with your textures, uh, the easier it will be to render uh, nice looking scenes uh, without having to deal with render crashes or slow renders or that kind of thing. But the out of core option is there if you absolutely need it. So I wanted to point out that Octane for Maya is currently in version 3.08 as of this recording. So the out of core settings only apply to textured data. However, Octane standalone is out at version four and this supports out of core for not only texture information, but also geometry. So this is a feature that we should see soon in an upcoming release of Octane for Maya. But currently, if your scene has an awful lot of geometry, you wanna take advantage of uh, out of core rendering for geometry and textures or both. You can always export the scene in the Orbix format and then render it using Octane standalone. And then you can take advantage of the more advanced out of core settings.